would like to um, talk a little bit on helping people. Usually when there's a relatively small problem, it is just a matter of you know, giving a little bit of energy, stimulating the energy, so the person can get over the hump. In some cases though, people have a real deficiency. They have been unable to uh, feel something or to develop something. And these can be very fundamental building blocks for a happy, successful life, which they're missing. So some people have never known any security. Some people have never experienced uh, love. Um, and um, if you don't have, uh, uh, in a way, at least some pattern to build upon, it's very difficult to develop. So you're in a way missing the real foundation. One of the ways you can uh, work with that is of course to yeah, ask like who do you think is a, is a good ideal, who is your uh, idol in this and try to imitate them, try to do it their way, think like them, feel like them, do like them. And you can then maybe build up this pattern yourself. But if this is not possible, because there might not be anybody who has a suitable pattern for them, uh, because maybe what they need or what they want is not something yeah, anybody around or who they know of has, uh, then it can be also very difficult for them to, yeah, to emulate, or basically it's almost impossible if you don't know exactly what you're looking for and you don't see it anywhere, it becomes very, very tricky. So in such cases, we can actually use the memory of the earth. Some people need something which no longer exists, but if at least it ever existed, then the earth will know it, will actually remember it. And it doesn't really matter if you call it by this yeah, modern, hip names of Akasha Chronicles, or if you call it the the island under the sea by more traditional names. Um, but the fact is, the earth remembers and uh, there are places where you can very easily access these memories. A lot of uh, Stone Age people built monuments uh, making it very easy to access these, uh, these earth memories, so it is very easy if you want to uh, do these practices there. Uh, swamps are also natural places where it is very easy to access earth energy. But it can be done anywhere, but in these places the impulses tend to be much stronger, much clearer uh, than if you just do it without being in such a place. To be able to find something we need to have at least some idea of what we're looking for, because we need to be able to formulate or to at least think of it. Uh, we don't need to know it very exactly or very precisely because the earth will know. The earth is not a computer which if you make a little typo it won't be able to find it. The earth knows us. It knows what we feel, what we want and it can respond to us uh, quite well. So it has a lot more intelligence than an internet search. <laughs> So, how we do it? To be able to connect to the earth, we need two things. We need our first chakra and we need our heart chakra. The first chakra connects our spirit to our body. And it's also not just a connection to our body, but also the connection between our spirit and the energy body of our planet, of the planet Earth, Gaia. And we need our heart to create a communication once we have a clear enough connection. And once this connection is there, once we have a good communication, we can send the question and receive an answer. So let's do this now. 